Hello and welcome back to Tutoring with Gavin. Both language and literature exams for GCSE require you to understand literary devices and how to use them effectively and imaginatively. In this video, I will show you how to improve your grade by using and understanding the effects of alliteration, sibilance, consonance, and assonance. All of these devices focus the reader's attention on a particular section of text or specific imagery being used. Alliteration is the repetition of the same consonant sound at the beginning of two or more words that are close together. For instance, the rough and ragged rocks. Sibilance is slightly different. It is the repetition of the S sound, which can suggest a snake-like quality implying slyness or danger. The snake slid down the slippery slope with a slow sigh. Consonance is the recurrence of similar sounding consonants in close proximity and not necessarily at the start of words. For example, in the Fuji's song, Zealots, rap rejects, my tape deck ejects projectile. Assonance is the repetition of similar vowel sounds in two or more words in proximity to each other within a sentence or phrase. For example, the undertone was ugly or we fed the dead brown bread. Here's an example of all four used by Simon Armitage at the start of Out of the Blue. See if you can spot the four different literary devices. You have picked me out through a distant shot of building burning. You have noticed now that a white cotton shirt is twirling, turning. In fact, I am waving, waving, small in the clouds, but waving, waving. Does anyone see a soul worth saving? Well, I hope this was useful for your revision. Please subscribe to the channel for regular updates on other video tutorials for language and literature. Also take a look at my Facebook page for more free resources. Until next time.